All right, now let's go ahead and solve some practice problems using our equation acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. The first problem we have here says what is the average acceleration of a car that speeds up from 46.0 meters per second to 70 meters per second in 4.5 seconds. Well, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to read the problem. We're going to identify the variables in the problem. We need to identify the final velocity, the initial velocity, and the time. So this says that the car speeds up from 46.0 meters per second. So that's going to be our initial velocity. And I can label that V sub I. And it says it speeds up from 46.0 meters per second to 70 meters per second. So 70 meters per second is going to be the final velocity. And I'll label that V sub F, just like that. And of course, 4.5 seconds, that's a time T. So let's go ahead. We'll bring this equation down. We'll set it up in three steps. The first step, write the equation down. Acceleration is equal to V subscript F minus V subscript I divided by T, the time. The next step is to plug in the proper numbers and units. So we have acceleration is equal to final velocity. And our final velocity right here is 70 meters per second. 70 meters per second minus the initial velocity and the initial velocity here is 46.0 meters per second and we're going to divide that by the time and the time is 4.5 seconds now let's go ahead and work this out and when we work this out we find that we get 5.3 meters per second per second so here's our answer acceleration is equal to 5.3 meters per second per second. And we can also write this answer like this. Acceleration is equal to 5.3 meters per second squared. That meter per second per second can be written as meters per second squared. So whenever you see meters per second per second, just change it to meters per second squared. It means exactly the same thing. What does it really mean? It means that while this car is in the process of speeding up, its velocity changes by 5.3 meters per second every second. While it's speeding up, its velocity increases by 5.3 meters per second every second. And that's the answer to question one, 5.3 meters per second squared. OK, let's move on down to question two now. And question two says, suppose a car accelerates from rest to 100 kilometers per hour in a time of 10 seconds. What is the car's average acceleration? Now, rather than me just solving this problem for you, why don't you go ahead and pause the video, solve the problem, then start the video back up again, and we'll go over it together. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, if you're back, let's go ahead and solve it and see how you did. This question says, suppose a car accelerates from rest. Well, from rest, that means from a standing start, which is a velocity of zero kilometers per hour. So it starts at from rest, zero kilometers per hour. That's going to be the initial velocity. I'll label that V sub I and it accelerates to a maximum velocity of 100 kilometers per hour. So that's going to be the final velocity. I'll label that V sub F. And the time, of course, says is 10 seconds. I'll label that T. What is the car's average acceleration? Well, let's go ahead and set this up. We can use our equation. A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. The next step. We're going to plug in the numbers and units as necessary. So A is equal to, and the final velocity here is 100 kilometers per hour, just like that. And we're going to subtract from that the initial velocity, which is from rest. So that's 0 kilometers per hour. 
and let's see the time is 10 seconds so when we work this out 100 minus 0 is 100 divided by 10 that's going to give us a an acceleration of 10 kilometers per hour per second 10 kilometers per hour per second and what that means is that when this car is accelerating while it's in the process of speeding up its velocity changes by 10 kilometers per hour every second its velocity increases by 10 kilometers per hour during every second while it's speeding up and there's your answer to number two alright now let's go down here and solve number three it says what is the acceleration of a car that slows down now that's that's an important concept right there this car is slowing down what is the acceleration of a car that slows down from 20 kilometers per hour so from 20 kilometers per hour that means that 20 kilometers per hour is going to be the initial velocity and I'll label that V sub I it slows down from 20 kilometers per hour to 10 kilometers per hour so its final velocity is 10 kilometers per hour so I'll label that V sub F in a time of four seconds so I'll label that time right there time equals four seconds so let's go ahead and set the problem up now we're gonna start again writing the equation down remember we use a three-step method for solving these problems and you don't want to hurry through this you want to always set the problem up in three steps on paper carry the units through the problem so that you get the right unit in the answer don't try to rush through it and just punch it into a calculator so let's go ahead and set it up acceleration is equal to V sub F minus V sub I divided by time and again that is acceleration is equal to the final velocity now make sure we pick the right number for the final velocity that's why we labeled these up here is 10 kilometers per hour and we're going to subtract that from that we're going to subtract the initial velocity which is 20 kilometers per hour and then divide it by the time and the time was 4.0 seconds and so this comes out to an acceleration of negative 2.5 kilometers per hour per second. That's negative 2.5 kilometers per hour per second. And what that means is that while this car is in the process of slowing down, it's going, its velocity is going to decrease by 2.5 kilometers per hour every second while it's slowing down its velocity decreases that's what that negative sign means it means slowing down it's a negative acceleration negative acceleration means slowing down or decelerating so it loses 2.5 kilometers per hour during every second while it's slowing down and that is our answer for number three